Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan Clan Chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. He's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Rex what he wants. Or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be fa Will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. This is the Salarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say.
If they start backtracking, the angry Krogan Act couldn't hurt. Who said anything about acting? Just try to keep it verbal. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? For a few moments ago. Does Solarian hospitality always come with sharpshooters? This is an insult to the Alliance. Please understand. No matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Solarian Union, I apologize. But we must insist that Krogan remain under guard. <laughs> If we insist otherwise, you'll have another war on your hands. Anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. <laughs> As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. 